National Broadcasting Company has always believed that the sight and sound recording on film of its live television broadcasts is an important factor in the development of the entire television industry. Now, over a period of years, the Technical Development Group at NBC has pursued a course of research and experimentation to perfect the techniques of kinescope recording. Faithful reproduction, of course, is the ideal, and it has by no means been accomplished. However, progress has been made. And so that you might judge its extent, we have assembled some of our earlier efforts, and we would like to show them to you now. These kinnies were photographed in 1938 on experimental equipment at eight frames per second, which accounts for the extreme jumpiness of the movements. The television studio cameras used here were iconoscopes, which demanded about 2,000 foot candles of light. And you can well imagine that our perambulating friends are plenty hot under the collar. These pictures are of the Lewis Kahn fight in New York in 1946, 12 years later in the history of kinescope recording. They mark the first use of the most notable of many technical advances in the process the adoption of the image orthicon television camera. This camera, now in general use, employs only about one-tenth the light required by the old iconoscope. Con on the right, Lewis on the left. Lewis going down low, trying to bring Con's guard down so he can cross that right over to his face. Con's still dancing away from them. Con got a nice left hook in there. Did you see that? Caught Joe right on the chin. These fellows know they have their work cut out for them tonight. They're not taking any chances. Wow. By March of 1948, television and kinescope recording had made further strides. We present now a recorded excerpt from a concert one of the first, incidentally, employing live musicians on television by the NBC Symphony, directed by Arturo Toscanini. The national conventions in Philadelphia provided another outstanding opportunity for television and kinescope recording off the line over a hundred miles away in New York City. They're going to try to dodge their responsibility. They're going to drag all the red herrings they can across this campaign. But I'm here to say to you that Senator Barclay and I are not going to let them get away with it. Ladies and gentlemen, perhaps you'd like to see some of the newest uh, kinescope recording equipment currently in use here in our Hollywood studios. This is a general view of the kinescope recording room in the NBC building. Ralph Lovell, who supervises all kinney operations, is loading one of the cameras here for use on an upcoming show. Here is our double system sound recorder. And this is the switching equipment where both video and audio are controlled before going to the monitors. <laughs> 